By March 1, 1942, the 80 farm families who lived in Sumter were displaced from their homesteads and their communities, but the days of these farm families take us back to the late 1800s where we'll follow the story of the Stedman and Primo families. Julia Stedman and Agnes Viette were married in June of 1888. They purchased their farmstead in the rural community of Sumter and began raising their family. Oldest daughter Nora was born in April 1892, followed by her brother Herbert in 1895, and Louis born in 1898. Their brother Roland passed away in infancy in 1900, and their youngest daughter Lena was born in 1902. Although Sumter was small, it included churches, one-room schoolhouses, a town hall, a gas station, and vacation homes. The citizens were hardworking and spent their days caring for their animals like cattle, pigs, chicken, and horses, and completing their daily chores. Sumter was a community of close-knit neighbors, often dropping in for dinners or afternoon chats or gossip. The Stedmans lived on their farms in the southeast side of the farming community, just a short distance from the town hall and church. On October 29, 1941, the farm families heard the news that the nation's largest powder plant would be built in their community and they were being displaced from their homes. There was a common outrage from the citizens. They were losing valuable agricultural land and also the community that they loved. The army tried to buy the farms for the lowest possible price, which infuriated the farmers. When Garth Primo, Nora's husband and the town chairman, protested against moving, the government told him if he did not sell his land that both of his sons would be drafted in the army. Both Garth and Nora were disheartened because they considered their youngest son Roland to be fragile and they decided to sell their land. Nora was told she was not allowed to take anything from her home that was fastened down, but in an act of resistance, she took a full-length mirror and a few other pieces with her. Julius was so upset to be leaving the home that he had built and raised a family in that he refused to leave, so his son Louis had to pick him up and carry him to the car. Today, little remains of their farm and their livelihoods. February 1942 was auction month in Sumter. Families were trying to sell what they couldn't take to their next farm. People from all over Wisconsin and Illinois took advantage of the cheap prices of the farmer's previous equipment, animals, and possessions. Julius and Lewis received $16,500 for their land and purchased a farm in Columbus near Garth and Nora where they lived for the remainder of their lives. Garth and Nora's farm became a part of the ammunition plant, Lena and her husband's farm became underground bunkers, and Julius and Lewis's farm was replaced by magazine storage. The apple trees at Badger act as a reminder of the farm families that once lived on this land and the community that once thrived there. As you explore and discover Badger, we hope you love this land as much as the Stedmans once did. Happy Adventures! Happy adventures.